from Minute Maid Park in Houston. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, you're Don Alvarez. He leads the team and wins above replacement, so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. Just about ready to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Luis Garcia. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Righty to the plate. Center field, Guillaume. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Vaughn Grissom getting ready to hit. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Here's Acuna now, fourth on the National League RBI leaderboard. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one catches the corner. Yeah, off to a good start. He's got to get the baseball, work quickly, and move the ball around. And that time, perfect pitch at the knees on the outside corner. And one and two. One and he really Three. sells the changeup with that arm action. Popped up. Altuve settles under this one. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Austin Riley now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Now one missed. One of the things you look at with Austin Riley, he was drafted in the first round of 2015. The Braves were one of the only teams looking at him as a position player. Most every other team wanted him as a pitcher, but Austin Riley hated pitching. One ball. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Got him swinging. I think the key. Bottom of the first. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Ball one, no strikes. Right, a former All-Star. He throws a slurve, a sinker, a four-seamer, a changeup, and he works in a slider. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Luis Guillorme. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Runner at first with no outs here. Whoa. Next pitch misses, and it's 1-1. One and one. Runner, runner, runner. Altuve runs. Bounce to the left side, and it's through for a hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Here's Jordan Alvarez, the leading home run hitter in the American League. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh 
Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next one just misses. And a count one and two. Altuve, the runner at third. Guillaume, that second with nobody out. Struck him out looking. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. And that's in the dirt. Next offering is down low. One down. Runners at second and third. Next offering is downstairs. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Line drive, base hit, and a run comes in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's Alec Bohm. In there for strike one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity. To short, could be two. Beats the second, out there. And that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. Back after this on the show. Back here in Houston, Matt Olson up to the plate. Garcia back to work. That misses, and that is ball one. And the right hander deals. And downstairs. Just missed. And he deals. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss. Going one. and misses it's a strikeout back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we all got to pause on that thought as that'll do we head to the bottom of the second so now the Astros designated hitter Jorge Polanco pitches in there that's strike one Ball nope. one there. The 1-1. One, one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. That hits the dirt. And the count is even 2-2. Two and, two. and right back to the mound. Gets it to first. That's one out at the bottom of the second. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. G-Man Choi, the next to hit, takes ball one. There's the strike. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two up, two down. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. 
That one back up the middle and it gets through. Here's Corey Lee. That's in there. Strike one. And a swing and a miss there. Good late movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. And down on strikes he goes. Top half of the third inning. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Garcia back to work. That catches the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Darno measures six feet two inches. 35 years old. He's the reigning All-Star MVP. The 0-2. In the dirt. The throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. On the ground. Guillaume whips it to first on the run. That's out number two. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First offering misses the mark. Harris, a former rookie of the year, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was a third round pick back in 2019. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He sends it out of here. Home run number five on the season. It's 1-1. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Two outs, nobody on. Now in for the Braves, Vaughn Grissom. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Good eye right there, Garcia. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they... Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even now at 1-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. And yeah, there's a ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Next one in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire at bat until that put away pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes. And then all of a sudden, a pitch comes out of nowhere. And it's a good changeup. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. Alvarez at the plate now. That's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Up the middle. Tosses to first. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's a speed threat. Ronald Acuna Jr. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it, and there's one away. Here's Austin Riley, struck out swinging his first time. And a curve misses outside. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big-time power. 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at-bats because of it. Brings it in, and there's two down. Olsen at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. And there's a foul ball. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. And it is two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. Ah, he locked him up, and that'll do it. The inning is back here in Houston. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Kyle Tucker. And fouled off. And he'll won. There's a strike. Well, these Astros showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way. There goes Tucker. Swing and a miss. Tag. Ow! Darno, great throw. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Polanco in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Going two now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The 0-2. And now one and two. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. It's through for a hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch, not close. Ozuna gets his lead at first with nobody out. Now, this is in the air down the line. Tucker should have it. Makes the catch for the out. Travis Dardo next up for the Braves. He's 0 for 1. And a foul ball. one that one is absolutely belted McCormick going back back some more and it's off the top of the wall the run scores all the way from first it's 2-1 big RBI for him right there loud contact leads to the double I mean you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick Now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia, grounded out his first time. Off the plate, Whoa, and it's 1-0. Oh.
Man at second. Swings here and blasts one left field. To the warning track, makes the catch. Runner tags at second, in there safely. So the lineup flips over. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Runner at third. Two away. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. To the right side. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well, here we are. Third time through the order. And this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And next for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. A one down. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. Now fly ball to right center. Harris has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat now Tuve in the box lays off for ball one Choi at second McCormick over at first with one away check swing went around one and two well all eyes on the double play ball in this spot no better way to get out of this inning Next pitch just misses. Now two and two. And now it's filled up. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one 95 to finish him off. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in, so. Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Olsen, and that is that. Top of the sixth inning, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. A wind of the pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. And that one is inside. Swing and a ball popped up. Altuve settles under it, squeezes it, and there's one down. 
Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Austin Riley goes deep, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-1. I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it. New arm out of the bullpen, Albert Abreu. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Olsen in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one's in there. That's strike one. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Bullpen activity starting up now. Forrest Whitley up and throwing. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's his second strikeout. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 4-1. And welcome back. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Check out these numbers. In 2019, he was the American League Rookie of the Year and established a major league record for OPS by a rookie in a single season. 1067 was his on-base plus slugging. Strike two. In that 2019 season, came the first Astro to hit a homer into the third deck at Minute Maid Park. That's an absolute blast. Swings and misses struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Boom. In the box again. Takes a strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the... Forrest Whitley will take over here. He's pitching on two days rest. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Now pitch. And there's the strike. Number Swing and a pop-up. Choi settles under it and makes the catch. One up, one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. That's a little bit low. One down, base is empty. Not even close there. Two and one. And 
And now two and two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Three. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. He oh. takes it on his own. That's the third out. Back here in Houston, set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the first baseman, G Man Choi. There's a strike. And strike two. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Bounced out to short. Arcia. Zips it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Ripped, but it curls foul. Hard hit left side. Arcia whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Lee stands in now and watches strike one. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Back here at Minute Maid Park for the top of the eighth. Now it's going to be Michael Harris. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Short hop liner handled it short, but no chance. That's an infield single. Now Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. One for three. Double play ball to second. Altuve one at second. How about that double play? Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Riley in the box now. No balls and a strike. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no... Three. Got him looking. And that is that. Brave strength. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. And there's the strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. This to third. Riley. Sends it across the first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Come back to the mound. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Man at first with one gone. You're Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. This guy has turned into a beast. Two balls, no strikes to count. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get. One and second. Double play. They can't seem to break. New inning getting started. Leading off, Matt Olson. And this is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. Into center. McCormick has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And now it's the Braves DH Marcelo Zuna. And that's outside Whitley in his rookie season. 
He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. Here's a one one. Swings through that one. <laughs> Ground ball to the right side and foul ball. And a pitch. That one in the dirt. Two and two. And another ball. We'll see another payoff pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. McCormick has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Two out, space is empty. Now in for the Braves, Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And that's a base hit. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Foul ball there. The 01. This ball's chopped on the ground. Boom. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. That's in for a strike. And he takes a strike. No ball, two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Oh. And Tucker is retired. At the play, Alec Bohm. In there, and it's 0-1. That one ripped, but foul. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Stays alive. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And first offering is fouled off. Smash to the left side. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Blown out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Into the outfield, base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Tying run at the plate. There's the strike. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Dives, and he can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. That's three singles in a row. Pitches away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Lee in the box now. Take strike one. 
tying run is at first. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. One runs in. Harris fires it to the plate. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And your final 4 2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.